Hi, this is a short video of the Garsim GNS530, which I built from uh, basically some encoders and push buttons uh, available from most electrical shops. The unit itself uh, controls Reality XP's uh, software, which links in with Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I also run the gauges from Project Magenta which eventually will be built into a main instrument panel. I'm currently uh, at 4,000 feet, approximately 20 miles southeast of Cardiff. If I press the flight plan button, I've just got a simple flight plan in there, so we're going to Cardiff. And you can see we're about 15 minutes away from our destination. The um, procedure function is fully, func is fully uh, simulated, so we can select an approach. If we select, for instance, the ILS runway 30, and uh, we'll uh, transit via the Charlie Delta Foxtrot uh, NDB, and we can load that approach into the flight plan. Um, if we wanted to activate the approach, we just select the procedure button once again and activate approach and now you'll see if we go to the flight plan page we're heading towards Cardiff NDB and we're making a slight left turn now towards the NDB. With full COM and VOR frequencies tunable from the unit and the flip-flop is available. So if we go back now onto the nav page um, I can basically tune in the ATIS and that's bringing us the ATIS information for uh, Cardiff. We could also, if we wanted to, tune in approach. And moving back then to the normal nav page. Um, a useful function in the map setup is um, various features here to display whatever you wanted to display. For instance, if I wanted to put the map um, track up, or that's possible as well. So if the right hand encoder here is selecting a waypoint auxiliary. For instance, we have here uh, a page which gives us our wind. That's very useful. Well, we have nearest to. So, for instance, if I wanted to set the Brecon VOR, we can press the Direct To button and activate that. And the magenta line now is changed. We've got um, a slight right hand turn. And if we go to the sim, you can see that we're actually banking to the right and tracking towards the Brecon VOR. I'll go back to the flight plan though and um, go direct to Cardiff. We can zoom in and out using the zoom keys. And another useful function is the message function if we've got airspace. Um, on this page it gives us our information so we're heading towards uh, Cardiff eight minutes to run and we've got 14 miles to run. If I press the cursor in here and press enter we can also review airspace so we're in Boscombe Down radio area and um, vertical limits are above 5,000 feet so no alarms there. The CDI button enables us to tune um, to fly via the sat nav or via the VOR function. And the OBS allows us to set a course if we wanted to intercept a course of, say, 318. Uh, we can do that as well. So now we'll make a left hand turn uh, to come in towards Cardiff on a heading of 318. 
There are various other functions. It's fully functional compared to a normal 430 or 530 if you're familiar with Garmin. We can set up vertical navigation here to give us some reminders when we need to start descending, etc. Pressing the clear and holding the clear down always brings us back to the nav page. And you can see here uh, we're going to in intercept the magenta line and then begin our NDB or ILS approach into Cardiff. So that's a short demonstration of the uh, Garmin unit. More information is available on mycockpit.org and um, there will be a PDF document if you want to have a go at building one of these yourself. Um, it's fairly straightforward. It uses Leo Bodner's interface card and um, various uh, encoders and push buttons which are available on the internet and all information will be in the PDF document. Thanks for watching.